Welcome back. You're watching Breakfast. Now, it was a good night for British talent at the 90th Academy Awards with five awards in total. Uh, we've got plenty to talk about with film critic Jason Solomons and Marai Larisai from the black feminist organisation Imkan, who are with us on the sofa. Thank you so much for coming on. Good morning, Ben. We spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, didn't we, Ben? Yes, you did. This is the first time we've had you on the sofa, so lovely to see you here. Great to be here. Uh, before we do that, um, let's hear from Gary Oldman, who was named Best Actor for his portrayal of Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. And it was one of those magical moments where he wandered mm. along the Vanity Fair carpet to our camera, perfectly timed to talk to us about his 98-year-old mum. You thank your mum in your speech, 98-year-old. Uh, have you had a chance to say, speak to her yet? No, I haven't. She's probably in bed by now, but, um, but I'll, I'll be seeing her in the morning. And, uh, you know, she's been... Uh, she brought me up and, you know, and as... Uh, I mean, I don't know what mum doesn't want an Oscar for her son, you know, who's, who's an actor, but uh, I think I think she's wanted this for me uh, for a long time, so, it, you know. Winston Churchill was famous for his inspirational speeches. I wonder if you felt any pressure to live up to them tonight? There is a bit of pressure. You, you know, it, there's a weird chemical thing that happens when your name is called. And... Um, it, it's un, I can't really define it, but it's unlike it's unlike anything else, you know. And then of course you've got the uh, Meryl Streep, uh, ten feet away, staring up at you next to Denzel Washington. Um, it's surreal. Yeah. It really is. I can't believe that it's as Academy Award to Gary Oldman on it. It, it, it you know, I'm still a bit sort of. Um, you know, but and I he's don't... had a real influence on your life, hasn't he? Because you've got a grandson now who's been named after Winston well, Churchill. Well, Is that right? Yeah, well, uh, my son Alfie worked on the film, and he, he's, an, he's a camera assistant, and he, and he was here with, uh, with Leslie, his mum, tonight. And I don't know whether they're here or not, but... Um, and, and he had worked on the movie, and uh, when he, you know, when he heard he was having a son, so it's 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 Aussie, and his middle name is is Winston, yeah. And you proposed to your wife, who's standing beside you here. Congratulations <laughs> yeah, to you. you. What, what, while you were in costume, is that right? Yeah, I was on the set, and we had talked about it, but um, and I just got the urge, so I dragged her off to the mat room, as you do <laughs> when you're when you're running a war. And, um, and said, uh, will you marry me? She said, yes. I didn't do it in the Winston voice, but um, I said, will you marry me? She said, yes. And then they said, Gary, we need you on the set. And I, and I, and I, left, and I left her with it. And I've got my boy here, Charlie, and Gulliver here. So it's been a great, and, and a lovely that Leslie and Alfie came out too. So it has been a real family bash. Love the hand on the shoulder, isn't that <laughs> yeah. lovely? And Jason Solomon, um, just briefly, just pick up with Gary, because he, he'd ha he's had an amazing sort of mm. award season, and this we, we sort of guessed this might happen, but absolutely fabulous for him. Yeah, it's always still, still a shock to, uh, when they get to the end of the season, even if they've won you know, the, at, the, at the SAG Awards and the Golden Globes and the BAFTAs, it's still, there's still a moment where they think, it might, I might get, you know, slide tackled by Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, you know, and <laughs> uh, it could happen. Uh, it didn't. So, you know, there, there is a great relief at the end of the season. It really is running a campaign. It is kind of Churchillian what he's done wow, you know yeah. you have to commit to it so there is a great relief a great pride as well it's, it's not just for this as well partly there's, there's a long career of Gary Oldman that's been rewarded here because he brings a, a sort of maverick spirit to his Winston Churchill it's one that he can propose to his uh, to his wife in as well <laughs> but he brings that the same energy he brought to Sid Vicious same energy he brought to Count Dracula same energy he brought to Joe Orton it's a mischievous energy that he's got as a performer and that comes through the fat suit so people sort of say it was just putting on makeup and hair and makeup won prizes as well. It's a lot more than that. When you're an actor and you put on the mask, it's about inhabiting that character physically and with the eyes and the energy through it. And that's why it's a great performance and that's why it won the Oscar. Mm. So he won Best Actor. Frances McDormand won Best Actress for three billboards outside Emmy, Missouri and persuaded every female nominee to stand up with her uh, as part of her speech. Have a little look. If I may be so honoured 
to have all the female nominees in every category stand with me in this room tonight. The actors, Meryl, if you do it, everybody else will, come on. The filmmakers, the producers, the directors, the writers, the cinematographer, the, the composers, the songwriters, the, 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 okay, look around, everybody. Look around, ladies and gentlemen, because we all have stories to tell and projects we need financed. So that's Frances McDormand. Mara, you went to the Golden Globes with, with Emma Watson. Yeah. How important a, a moment do you think that was? I think having Frances stand up and highlight issues relating to women in the industry is absolutely critical. It's part of how we talk about equality, how we talk about lifting women's voices, you know, it's how we talk about representation. So it was a really brilliant moment. And she's, she's quirky and she's adventurous and, you know, and really courageous. And so her doing that was, was brilliant. And, and this it. time, uh, they didn't wear black at the Oscars mm. this time. But do you think there has been, what do you sense? Because you've been campaigning on these issues mm. for many years. Yeah. Is there a real change happening now? It feels that way. I think, you know, if you're, if you're doing this work day in and day out, like somebody like me, and what you have is a whole load of celebrities amplifying the issues, yeah. then what it does is it gets it out into the public domain in a completely different way. And we need that, because actually somebody like me will talk to politicians and civil servants, may not get any media coverage, etc., etc. You put Emma Watson next to that conversation, and what you have is something completely different, mm. you know? And, uh, Jason, just to sort of mop up everything else, The Shape of Water won uh, Best Film, which is you know, a bit of a surprise. In terms of the other British success, we had uh, Roger Deakins, who won cinematography for Blade Runner 2049. At the 14th time of yeah. asking. He's had 13 unlucky uh, nominations, and he finally won. Lucy Sibbett won Makeup for Darkest Hour as well, working with Gary Oldman. And also, tell us a little bit about the film um, was Silent, it Silent Child. Charlotte Child. Charlotte Child. Child is a great story, really, from Hollyoaks to Hollywood. Uh, a, a couple uh, who were, uh, met on Hollyoaks, they won the best short film for a film, The Silent Child, about family deaf child. Uh, and her communication. It's a very touching and tender film. Uh, Rachel Shenton is the, is, the, is, the, is the girl who wrote it and directed it, uh, and they, they, they won. I mean, it's an extraordinary story for this tiny little film that was, that was kind of funded by cupcake sales and <laughs> Indiegogo Kickstarters. You know, £2,000 here, £3,000 there. I think I gave them 10p when I met them, oh. and that might have just tipped it's it over the edge. I think there needs you. to be a movie about the making of that movie. Yeah. Um, thank you both very much indeed. Lovely thank to see you here on Breakfast. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, that's it from us today. We shall see you tomorrow morning from 6. Now on BBC One, it's time for Murder, Mystery and My Family.